Hey guys, Jake here. I play the character Lord Henry Bova in a lot of LARPs that I do, and I want to talk today about LARP gear that you get right off the rack. And today we're talking all about weapons. I'm really excited. Really excited. Let's get started. Ha! <laughs> Alright, we're starting with the Bayan C? Bayan Sai? Bayan Sai? Bayan C? There's a Scottish Gaelic with it. It's the Strike of Morgan from Kalamazoo. Uh, they're a very well known latex traditional LARP making weapon people. Right? So they're really well known, they make fantastic weapons, and this is definitely not an exception to that. Uh, this is a $134 long sword, right? So this is a one-handed sword, and it's beautiful. This is definitely a very barbaric looking weapon. So for those of you who play orcs, barbarians, monsters, beastmen, you know, skaven, I know you're out there. You can look at this weapon and say, I need this. And personally, I might not be one of those monster people, but I need this. I want it. <laughs> I actually borrowed this from a buddy, so it's not mine, but I, I'm looking at it, okay? I'm looking at it. All right, let's look at the specs here. This is an 85 centimeter sword, and in freedom units, that's about 37 inches. So it's a bit longer than your traditional short sword, right? The weight distribution is pretty top heavy, so you're not going to be doing a lot of elegance, eloquent Jedi moves, right? This is not a civilized era, this is a chopping era. Um, and when it comes down to chopping, it hits like a glove. It hits like it doesn't want to be mean to you. Although, it looks like it's very mean, right? This is going to be your best friend on the field. Coming in though at $134 though, this is a very expensive latex weapon, right? Uh, in one of my previous videos, I looked at a sword that was $30. So that is a very traditional standard weapon. And this is the protagonist, antagonist. This is the person on the field you do not want to get in a fight with. This is the leader, the hero, the warlord. Personally, I love this thing. I love it a lot. If I had the extra coin to grab me one of these, I absolutely would. Right? So I'm going to hold on to this and we're going to go into the next weapon. You already saw this one. Let's talk about it. And we're back, back from the intro, the Skull Splitter 2, the Axe of Wrath from Kamaso. This thing's a beauty, right? It's so brutal, look at it. I feel like I'm in an 80s metal band. Like, that is, that's nuts. Look at that skull. Look at this graph. Is that a femur? That's metal. Someone's leg. This was someone's leg. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the wood grain. I love the fake leather, the skull on the back, the bone profile here. I don't even know what is, what is that, a scapula? Um, so let's talk technicals here. This is an 85 centimeter long piece. Um, so freedom units, we're looking at 33 inches. This is sized to be a single handed weapon, right? The weight distribution though, is pretty heavy uh, right here in the middle. So it's not particularly well balanced, right? You're not gonna be doing a lot of more elegant stuff like the last one, right? This is not a Jedi weapon. This is an orc weapon. So there's gonna be a lot of chop. We also have a small profile, right? This is about an eight inch profile. Which means that anyone who's using this on a friend or an opponent or anybody you're fighting against is gonna have to be careful because we only have so much hit space and a lot of half space. This, that's gonna hurt, but this is gonna hit like a glove. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's nothing, that's perfect. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to be really careful when you're bringing this on the field, if you bring this out on the field. Like I said, this is a $140 weapon, so this might be something that you keep on your side, going to parties or dueling with your friends in camp. All right, this is a showstopper, not a field stopper. All right, moving on. Can I interest you in a house throwing weapon? Yeah, this is a throwing weapon from Kalamazoo. This is the Friar Tuck model coming in at about $23, although you can get it refurbished much cheaper. Um, as you can see from the bottom here, it is hollow. 
So if I were to be throwing this at somebody, we're only getting that. That's ridiculous. You're not gonna hurt somebody with flex like that, hollowness like that. You might be careful with the cork here. You are definitely gonna be getting some eyes, but if you're using this as the handle, did I break my watch? Is that like a mark? You're easily gonna be able to glass your friends. I can see it really clearly. I mean, take this onto the field, uh, go behind enemy lines and offer the enemy in general uh, a drink of off a uh, piece, right? Between friends, and then as they have their back turned. You're done, you're done. Game over, that's so cool. Gosh, that's goofy. All right, it's time for the roundup. We have Skull Splitter 2. This thing is going for $140. Bien, bien, whatever. It's the strike of Morrigan. <laughs> this is going for $134. And a fryer tuck. About 20 bucks, but you can get it refurbished, and I definitely got it for less for you know that price. Um, let's look at the total here. Nice! That's pretty great. Uh, I mean, these are some pretty expensive weapons. But at the same time, like, yeah, it's worth it. The quality is fantastic. I mean, you can see here, this is, that's really cheap, but this is worth its price. All right, you can get your $30 chuck, um, but you can also get your $140 showstopper. That's beautiful, hell yeah. That's so cool. All right, hey, thanks for watching. I know this was an odd video because these were all traditional LARP weapons and a lot of my audience comes from Boffer LARPs, right? So these don't fit on your field. However, these are fantastic weapons to have at the hip, go to parties, or you know, swing with your friends in camp. Um, this is a fantastic show of what traditional LARP weapons can do. Uh, and I'm a big fan, so hopefully you are too. Please shout out below if you want me to take a look at any uh, LARP gear you're interested in, and maybe I'll do a review on it. See you next time.